Hello everyone and welcome back to another FTL playthrough. Now, since you've basically completed the Kestrel, we're going to be going to the next set of ships, the NG ships. Now, um, fair warning, I have not completed these either on normal, so yeah, I'm expecting to get my ass kicked. Let's get started now, shall we? Right, the first thing I notice is that this ship's venting layout is atrocious. Jesus Christ, who designed this? So we have uh, airlocks here and here, and that's about it. We have an iron weapon for weaponry, and we have a combat drone. We don't need to keep the power. And our augment is this thing, NG map with disposal. Basically, it's a, it's a lousy med bay. Like, it does give you the edge against our uh, borders, but still. Hmm. Right, so. We have 15 drone parts, and that's gonna be a consumable that we're gonna have to keep our eye on. So, yeah, drone parts are gonna be our main consumable. Venting is terrible. If they had not airlock here, it wouldn't be too bad, but we will have to make do with what we have. Right, let's go get going, shall we? Oh boy. Not the greatest first sector, but okay. Oh great, yeah, sure. Yeah, nice. First jump straight into a star. Alright then. Right, just to be safe, and also because I don't trust my crew to firefight that well, I'm just gonna vent a good bit of the ship. Alright, good. Now, go for the weapons. Come on, drone. Go for the weapons. Ow. Great. It hit my oxygen. Of course it hit my oxygen. Why would it hit my oxygen? One of the things that I need to not be hit. Alright, fix up the oxygen and get out of there. I want to continue draining the oxygen out of that whole place. Come on, buddy. Right, let's repair it. Get out, get out, get out. Training air. Solar flying coming. And just as my room drains out completely, I should probably also begin venting these. Yeah, not as much. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to escape now. Not gonna help you, mate. Messed with the wrong ship. Right, is it still on fire? I can't. I don't think so. I don't hear it being on fire. Nope, it's still on fire. It's still on fire. Yep. Get out of there. Sealing bulkheads and venting. Uh, I'm just waiting. Once the next uh, solar flare comes, I'll jump. But for now, I think I can afford to wait a little. Stand by all hands, jumping. Doors are gone. Oh great, my shoe room's on fire now. And I can't even vent that. God damn it. Anyway, an asteroid field. Uh, this is gonna go great. Right, I think we stopped suffocating now. Right, auto fire on that. I don't think sh it's gonna be too much of an issue for us. We can't exactly. Yeah, we're not exactly in a good position here. Powering map drone disposal. your bulkheads, open internal bulkheads. Activating O2. Sealing internal bulkheads, all hand packed the stations.
No surrender, you die. Actually, did I have drone parts? I might have taken it. I sh probably should have taken it, come to think of it. Right, what's going on in there? Combat drone, stand by. Oh, it's a human and a rock. Well, we're not burning those guys out. Not any time this year, at least. Rocks don't take fire damage, so... We'll just kill them and come back for them later. Right, cross fully healed. As you can see at the very beginning, you will have a bit of an issue with our drone parts. This is pretty standard on uh, on the NG ships, which is another reason why I like, completely detest it. But I still want to do what is right, so... I'm sending my crew into the meat grinder for it. Right now, if I remember correctly... Right, open fire on that. Shields down, shields up. Of course it hit shields, why wouldn't it hit shields? Combat drone offline. Substantial damage on internal systems. Damn it. Come on, get shoes up and running. Right, that didn't impact anywhere particularly important. Hang on, one moment. Right. Oh, okay, that didn't hit anything significant. Actually, it didn't hit us. I'm pretty sure I should saw him. And I did micro that properly, so... Right now, as you can see, I'm just hammering away at the oxygen. I'm trying to get a crew kill. Lowering shields. I sit lowering shields. Right, combat drone off. The ion blast is the only uh, weapon that can actually shoot this fast. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. I'm actually glad that they have a Mantis on the ship, it makes it easier for the crew kill. Mantis repair atrociously slowly. Their iron weapon should be coming back online any second now. And that's what I'm really worried about. If it's in sync with the big laser, it could actually kill, it could actually do a lot of damage to us. Like, these are the only advantage the NG ship has over like any other ship. You can like do this kind of crew kill strategies early with a bit of luck. Well, I say a bit, I mean like with a hope and a prayer. Back on, back on the sensors, I want to see what's going on. Yeah, nope, never mind. Crew kill's not worth it. We're taking too much damage. Shields up. Laser should be firing any second now. Damn it. Right, that should be in. That should generate some problems for them. Stay there. Repair that. Continue focusing fire on oxygen. Toggling shields. Shields here will hit anyway. Damn it. 
We've taken too much damage, screw this. That was a bad idea. I tried to crew kill them. That might have just screwed all my run. You might have to restart. Oh, that was dumb. Why did you try doing that? And like, even when I realized it was a stupid thing, I already, commi I already committed like far too much ship hull to the thing. Ah, uh, I hate my life. Right, yeah, we're just going to go full mother hobo for the next few jumps. Until we get level 2 shields, then we can try doing something like that again. Oh, you have missiles? Yeah, sure, take it. We have no missile weapons. Don't want to intervene. It has drones. Intervening. Firing at will. Nice. And nothing important, and nothing of importance was hit. Yeah, this is why I don't like drones. You have to pray for them to hit the right things. Whereas uh, by now, uh, with a regular ship, I could have already been on well on my way to dis disabling these two instead of continually hitting systems that do not matter. But at least I can just uh, stun lock one system, which is nice. Also, this ship does not have... This ship already has the drone system installed, which you never see me use in previous playthroughs because I detest the drone system. But it only has... Hang on, what's going on here? Okay, yeah. Something weird happened. Anyway, it only has three weapon slots, and but it has three drone slots as a trade-off. I'm not a fan of drones, so... This is gonna be an uh, experience, let's shall we say. An annoying experience, but an experience nonetheless. Oh joy. Right, fire at will. We're also beginning to run a bit low on uh, parts. Shields up. Nope, okay, never mind. Oh, actually, that's kind of nice. Nice. Not so nice. No, not nice. Hit the things that we need you to hit. No, I said hit, not miss. Goddamn droids. Ah, right. I remember why I hit this ship. It's not bad, it's just why would you ever play this over any other ship? I actually, like when I played this, I actually just skipped the whole thing because I uh, managed to unlock the Federation Cruiser by complete accident. And I did the quest for it, so I ended up playing that ship instead, and I had so much more fun. This ship is just not my cup of tea. Why did I do that? I should have checked for stores. There we go. Right. Yeah, I, I'm not going to that store. Right, so we just take the long way around then. And so just trust call. Moshi Moshi I'll dock and try to rescue him. I'm not about to put my crew in danger. Hey Jonesy boy! Welcome to the crew. Oh yeah, let's have a look at the crew, shall we? Sam, Frederick and Mick. Fred's on engines and Mick's on sh on weapons. Jones is on the shields. Alright. How do we know them a bit better? And I've finally got the upgrade. Level 2 shields! We're not made of paper anymore. We're made of slightly reinforced paper. Rejoice! 
You ship with not made of literally cardboard, it's made of sl slightly, re very slightly reinforced cardboard. Whoop de doo. <laughs> Waves little flag in the air. And great, your, even your aim is atrocious. Uh, your drone's aim is atrocious, by the way. Yeah, I know, we've been trying to get him to work on it. Is it working? No, sir. No, it isn't. It's terrible. I have no idea why I ever decided to sign on this ship. Uh, was it when they picked me off the space station, Jones? Oh, yeah, they picked me off a burning space station. I wanted to help the Federation, so I just signed on. Boy, was that the worst mistake of my life. If you come there, I really hate this ship. Yay, he died. And nothing of value was obtained. Seriously, this is just as bad. Yeah, I know, this thing takes 10 seconds to charge and compared to the, three, to the 4 seconds of this one. That's even worse. Alright then. And behind door number 2 is... No, fuck you. You're not my dad, mom. Oh, nice. Also, they have a pea shooter. Nice. Okay, I think we can do this. Yeah, they can't break our shields. Why did I get the combat drone? We're not gonna need it. They have a pea shooter. That's not gonna break through our shields. Which means you can just ion the oxygen. It's gonna take a while. Stick with me here. Uh, crap, these are all gonna gain XP from this. Yeah, uh, you guys might wanna just go literally take a coffee or something. This is gonna take a while. <sighs> Suffocating crew has never been a quick art. It's an art, but not a quick one. No, 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 no. Back to your stations, mongrels. Only you, Jones. Alright, keeping the oxygen offline. It should be draining at this point. Probably to uh, help this along, we might want to get a hacking system to like, help and drain the shields quicker. Yeah, because right now all we have to do is just wait for the oxygen to drain out from the ship excruciatingly slowly by now. Right, I'm gonna go get more water, and I'll be I'll be back in the flash. You will probably want to do the same thing. Right back. Oh hey, I see that I've missed absolutely nothing. So, uh, how's your day been? Anything interesting you've been doing recently? How are you, Iron? Nah, I've just been dealing with this one annoying ass ship in my sector. Really? Yeah, it's just kinda there and it's surviving and it's really annoying because I want it to suffocate and die on the right side Mikhail is getting a ton of XP he's already level 1 and he's quickly progressing towards level 2 maybe when he gets level 2 we can part we can actually suffocate someone <sighs> this is gonna take a while Oh great, we missed a shot. I wonder if it's gonna let the oxygen recharge. 
let's investigate. Yeah, surprising turn of event, the ship is still completely oxygen filled. What the hell? Yeah, I think I actually do need level 2 of my gunner for that act for the crew kill to actually happen. Or you know they happen to have level 2 oxygen. Which in that case you can just choke me. Cause this is gonna take the rest of eternity. Like seriously, if you're still watching this, don't bother. It's gonna be a, a very long while. Hopefully when Mikhail f uh, hits level 2 and then like... Okay, you know, come back in like... F 7 minutes or so. I think we'll be done with the crew kill by then. Before we probably won't be done and after, well... We'll actually be doing other things. Hopefully, please, for the love of God, die. So they're not dying. Alright, finally hit level 2. Maybe we'll actually get to see some crew carnage this time. Seriously. If you can't tell at this point I've already just turned on the mobile gear on my phone. <sighs> on some of these ships, this is just really what most of the thing amounts to. I'm gonna feel really stupid if they've had level 2 oxygen all this time. You know what? Fine. If I don't get a crew kill within the next minute, I'm just gonna like assume that it's not happening. And just kill the ship and move on. Cause I'm doing this for YouTube and I'm just sick of waiting here doing absolutely nothing. My god, this is boring. I mean, we're getting training, don't get me wrong. But like, we're supposed to be on like somewhat of a tight schedule. Okay, good, the crew kill is actually happening. You can see in there that everything is becoming radar. Yeah, that's cause that's a sign that oxygen is raining out. So it's true, I do need level 2 for the thing for the crew kill to happen. And like level 1 shields. Great. We gotta be a wall. And we just missed the shot. Does that mean they get the region oxygen? Not very quickly though. Right, it's offline. Keep the oxygen offline. Please die. Don't do this to me. Please. For the love of God, die. I am beyond bored. I'm just gonna activate the combat draw and take a few pot shots at them. Also, I'm just gonna put it to use to drain the shields. Right, wait, 
comes back online. Move the joint to position. Oh, I cancelled the shot. Darn it. It should hit. Good Christ, this is just boring. And I've done this shit before, so like I have a rough idea of how exactly how boring it's gonna be. But dear god, considering this is one of the best strategies the ship has. It's not much fun playing this ship. Like some of the rock ships are more fun than this. Alright, yeah nice, you got piloting and engines leveled up. Oh great, finally the crew kill's happening. Oh. Maybe we can get to the next ship sometime this year. Yeah, so this is basically what the NG ship is. You can just literally turn it on once you get level 2 shields and walk away and go do your own thing. Oh, thank god. Hey, we got another one for it. Nice. For all the extra time we wasted on that thing. Oh, god. I'd really rather just murder the crew on the ship with a boarding instead. Which, thankfully, I believe the Mantis ships. It's on the offer. No. No, you. Oh, hey, they can't hurt us. Yeah, it feels really good having uh, level 2 shields before you even get out of sector 1. It's a nice feeling. You don't actually have to worry about damage for next sector or two. Ten million years later. Don't you wish lasers gave like at least some semblance of a at least some semblance of like shield training? Cause right now it's just a mill annoyance. Yeah, I'm actually guys getting trained. We can probably just move this guy out. Even though you're gonna be getting like some training, but still. Yeah, okay. This is probably a big sign that I wanna upgrade to level 2 sensors sometime soon. I mean, it does give me a handful of blue events, one of which can even let me a uh, crew member, so. Might be a good idea to do it. Right, well, it's happening. And because it's ion damage and not like actual damage, they can't do anything about it. So, this is basically what we've been doing with those slug ships, but a lot less efficient. Because instead of just breaking it and forgetting about it, we are waiting here while Orange Jesus determines how long it takes to kill the ship. Because if we miss, they get like a few seconds of oxygen regeneration. 
Not enough to actually matter, but enough to be annoying. And like, the small amount of XP on the shields that Mick and uh, Jones is getting is... Like... This is buffed with the human XP buff. I'm turning off auto fire. I'm going manually firing it. Oh great. Right, so iron damage lasts for 8 seconds. Right, that should have resynced it. Right, then the shields should come online and it should impact the shield. Never mind. No one knows. How long this will take to kill them? And like the sad thing is that like if you want to do this threat, this is also the only way you can save on your drone usage. Cause all the methods require you using your one combat drone to slowly plug away at the enemy. I could upgrade weapons and get my other ion stunner active. Oh thank god. Oh hey, an arms dealer. Hey long range scanners. This is actually garbage, but I'm gonna keep it because I actually I have NGs. And I actually need some kind of system to offset the fact that they are legitimately garbage in anything that is related to close range combat. And that's being polite. Oh god. Alright, let's get out of here. Hello there. Never mind, you're a bad person. I feel no remorse for this. Oh yeah, no. Like, this is... Like, we don't even get a choice here. This is an enemy combat drone. I can't actually use my combat drone because they have an enemy combat drone. Yeah, no, that's fine. You know, this is fun. And interactive, yeah. God, I'm salty. This entire first episode has just been me seeing how much salt I can obtain from playing this terrible ship design. Like, who invented this? Like, like I don't know which person at like subset games was like drunk enough to be like, hey, you know what would be fun? Let's make this like ship, yeah? But let's give it no actual weapons and make it rely completely on Ion Blast too which charges in like 4 seconds, but here's also the thing, right, let's give you a combat drone. But sir, what if the addition of those empty combat drones, what are we gonna do about that? Ah, uh, that'll be fine, you can just play a normal edition. But sir, do we, do we want to make everything better we want to do? Uh, they'll be fine, normal edition. But they'll be fine. Yes sir. Like this, essentially, in my head, the entire thought process when they're doing this. And I get it, this is an A variant. They designed this like before uh, Advanced Edition was a thing. But like seriously, this is terrible. Like, and this, and like, well this is a thing right, this isn't even one of the two warships, so like... I'm going to be playing like what people widely consider the worst ship in the game like immediately after this. It, they, people say the toss up between NGB and Slug C which I also haven't beat. And I've, beat all, I've literally beaten all the other ships before that so... Right, next, few, next episodes for the foreseeable future are just gonna be like one gigantic salt mine.
and it will be glorious. How tilted can Iron get before he decides to like punish someone's faces? I don't know. You wanna find out? No. No, you really shouldn't. Why? Because it shows that whoever is watching you is oddly interested in your anger issues? Well, yeah, that too, but semantics, other things. Hey, level 2 piloting. Also, by the way, yeah, I've been doing that little... This, um, this is me basically doing that little trick of uh, just AFKing and letting it do its thing and grinding all the skills up to maximum while doing so. Yeah, this is literally the trick. That's why we spent like half an hour and we haven't even got out of the first sector yet when by now normally we'd be on the second or third sector already. Like that is the sole reason why the pace of this game has been so abysmally slow. It's just this early urge of me wanting an advantage. I actually probably should have sold the Iron Thunder and bought the... I should have just sold a bunch of stuff and bought the Twin Lasers. Like at least then I will have an actual gun. Misses the alien shit so permission to use a real gun. What the hell do you think we're using, soldier? Super Soaker? No, sir, but I might as well be doing. Might as well be considering the minuscule amount of damage I'm doing to it. Fair point, soldier. Hit something, please. I don't feel like playing this anymore. <laughs> Why am I forcing myself to play this? I could legit just go do any. I could just go and do the Federation ships instead. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Why am I doing anything? Why are we still here? Just to suffer? I also don't think I'll beat the Stealth C variant yet, so that's a, that, that's another thing to be concerned about. Oh, finally, they're dying. About time. I was worried they weren't gonna die. Stay off your cursed oxygen. Oh hey, nice. Yours is gonna be level two by the time they die, I think. John, sit level two before they die. Come on, you're so close, bud. Come on, no, Jones didn't hit level two, but I got a laser charger mark three. I'm pretty sure it's still a terrible gun, but let's have a look, shall we? So it's a three power five charge weapon. Right, that takes 10 seconds for two shot, which is the same time as a uh, dual laser. It's just less power efficient. I'll probably end up using it just cause it's a straight upgrade. Right, next sector. Oh boy, nebula sectors either way. Alright, so seeing as most of my crews are NGs and Mantis are legitimately the best melee race in the game, looks like the decisions we made for me and we're going to a Zoltan's face. And it's already been 40 minutes. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this admittedly hate filled rant of how much I hate the NG ship and how it's a terrible design. Uh, I hope to see you all soon even though i can understand if you don't want to come back and and watch the episode 2 this was literally just an essay on why the hell i hate the goddamn ng ships uh, thank you for watching and have a good night i don't know